study. In 1969, Sergei Moscovici et al. conducted a laboratory experiment investigating the impact of minority influence amongst a population of 192 women. Participants were placed into groups of six at a time and asked to judge the colour of 36 slides, all of which were blue but had variations in the brightness. Two of the participants were Confederates working alongside the researcher. In one condition, the Confederates identified all 36 slides as green, thus displaying minority consistency, and in another condition, they had identified 24 of the slides as green, and the remaining 12 as blue, thus displaying minority inconsistency. A control group was also used which contained no Confederates. By having a control group, Moscovici et al. could be sure that the independent variable which were being manipulated throughout the study gave a good level of indication as to the impact of the phenomenon under investigation. Could a minority really have an impact on the majority under such controlled circumstances? Well, findings indicate that they certainly could. In the control group, the group with no confederates, participants identified the slides as green 0.25% of the time. In the consistent condition, the group in which confederates called all slides green, 8.4% of the participants conformed to the minority position identifying the slides as green, and 32% called the slides green at least once. Interestingly, in the inconsistent condition, the group which had confederates identifying slides as both blue and green, Participants conformed to the minority position only 1.25% of the time, identifying the slides as green. Although the Confederates were in the minority, their views seemingly influenced the real participants of the study. By using two conditions for the experiment, it is clear to see that the minority group had a higher level of influence when they were consistent in calling the slides green. This experiment was not without its weaknesses, for example, as with most laboratory studies, Moscovici et al.'s experiment lacked internal validity, as the task itself was artificial. The participant group was made up solely of women, which means the results could not be generalizable to men. Also, the participants may have viewed the task at hand as trivial and of little importance. Despite these weaknesses, we can still accept the results as supporting of the hypothesis that a minority group can influence the majority for a few reasons. Firstly, the results of the control group, which had a significantly lower percentage of participants identifying the color of the slides as green. Secondly, similar experiments have had participants write down their responses as opposed to speaking them aloud. Under these conditions, even more people agreed with the minority, which provides more supporting evidence for minority influence. Consistency within a minority group increases the likelihood that the majority will internalize their beliefs 